Hey guys, happy Monday. So I literally have four movings today. I have, not today, I'm sorry, this week. I have three females and one male. So right now I'm putting together one of the um, female resident manuals. I'm not quite sure where I'm putting her at yet because she is 98 years old. However, she's real active and she likes to, you know, shake her tail feather here and there and she likes to be around men. So my one resident has three men. My other facility doesn't have any men. So that'll be the other house that doesn't have men. Berkshire will only have women. So that would be like my golden girl house. Um, as I mentioned last week, I had two people that died over there and there was a male over there. Um, so that will be um, an all-female house because there will be uh, four females over there. So that's Golden Girl House. Um, so her family is actually going to come over uh, to look at that house today only because I gave her a room over at the other house. But I just kind of think that it will be a better fit at Berkshire. Um, I'm not going to increase the rent only because it was something that I decided. So it wouldn't be fair for me to say, oh, yeah, by the way, now you have to pay this. So I'm actually putting her binder together right now. So I have her healthcare practitioner form. Um, here is her most form. And then here is a copy of uh, the summary of all her medications. And then her medical, oop, I'm sorry guys. And then her medical information, her medical insurance, not medical insurance papers. Um, so what I like to do is I have uh, clear sheet protectors um, and then I get the tabs out. My tabs? No, I don't use those tabs. I use these tabs. And then um, I pretty much use like a black binder, which is uh, one and a half rings, I believe. And then I put a cover sheet on it. I will put the name of the facility that they're going into, the resident name, and the date that they're moving in. So that's how I put my resident manual together. Um, so I have to put the assessment in here. Uh, I have to put all the tabs in here with the necessary documentation that go in here, like the activity sheets, a blank activity sheet in here, the MAR will go in here, prescriptions will go in here, a tab for a pharmacy review will go in here because she will have a pharmacy review because she has more than eight medications. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. She has eight, so she has eight, so it's eight or more, so she has eight medications. So um, I will put a tab in there for the pharmacy review. She has a low salt diet, low carb and low fat diet. And the recommendation is to check her blood pressure regularly when she does come to the assisted living. So, as I stated that this is a 98-year-old female, but she's real active. She's uh, as if she's like in her 70s. So, I'm not quite sure which house I'm going to put her at. But ult the ultimate decision is her family. They already tore my other facility and they chose it. But then when I had the death last week, it opened a bed. So, I just kind of felt that she would be a little bit better over there. So, we shall see. So, that's what I'm working on today. All right. If you have any questions comment below.